Hello dear friends, welcome to another fresh discussion of Shiksha Mantra but today I am on my notebook. Yes dear friends, let me share with you that uh, notebook on which I work today with this very very important topic. It's regarding English grammar obviously but before I say anything, let me write down two sentences for you and obviously these two sentences are going to be very much helpful for the further proceed of our discussion so here i have written a sentence this is number one and there another number two Now just have a look at these two sentences. The first sentence read put the book on your table and the second reads put on your own jacket. Now my point is these two words but it's better for me to call them parts of speeches. So these are the two parts of speeches those are in my focus. Put the book on the table and put on your old jacket. Now tell me dear friends, what are the parts of speeches for these two on in these two sentences? If you consider this on, it introduces a noun, the table. So, Obviously, this on is setting up a connection between the table noun and the rest of the sentence. So, obviously, here on is used as a proposition. Yes, dear friend, it's a, it's a very vital point to remember. So, here on is used as a proposition. But what's for this second sentence? Put on your old jacket here this your old jacket it's not getting connected with the rest of the sentence like as it is in the first sentence so here this on is actually not a proposition this is an adverb yes dear friends there is the beauty of our discussion. So here, in English grammar, we get some words or some parts of speeches which can be used both as a proposition as well as an adverb. And we call these words which can be used both as a proposition as well and as an adverb. We call them what? Yes, dear friends, we call them by the name. I don't know whether you have listened it in other occasions or this is for the very first time you are facing such a term that is adverbial particles. Yes, dear friends, we call them adverbial particles. So this term is used for a group of adverbs with the characteristics of their own. Yes, dear friends, these adverbs have a special characteristic and that's why we call them adverbial particles and what's that special characteristics that special characteristics is that they are propositions as well as adverbs sometimes they are used as propositions and sometimes they are used as an adverb now you have to decide in which condition they are proposition and in which they are adverbs so we have learned here 
with these two examples. So let's proceed further and uh, find out what are the verbs or those expressions which we were considering as adverbial particles. So let's find out the most important of those verbs. So the most important among those verbs I would put here as a list. So let's uh, find out the list first. These are you may write it down and uh, you may keep it because it would help you a lot in your further learning up down in out write them down up down in out then we have on and we have off and also we have away and back so these are the special words in english grammar which we consider as adverbial particles i am talking of only basic things so these are used with the verbs to form combinations where do we use them and how do we use them we use them with the verbs and a special combination is formed and this combination i'm talking of this combination this combination is again of two types yes dear friends they can form two different combinations now what are these two combinations the first of them is called regular yes dear friends first we will learn them as regular so how it is let me put an example here and it would be easier for you to understand take your hat off take your hat off now here if you consider this off this is obvious yes dear friends here you have to put this off for without this the sentence would remain useless it would be meaningless take your hat off so without this you cannot have a complete sense of this sentence so this is obvious and it's regular take and off these are two inseparable integrals so this combination goes as adverbial particles and most of the times what i have found that my students they mistake them for proposition but remember it's not proposition it's adverb so this is our first point and we have our second point here and it speaks obviously it would be the opposite of regular so it is irregular so we have already found regular now what is irregular now for irregular let us have an example first and it would be easy for you to follow put off the meeting put off the meeting here also this off we call it what we call it irregular adverbial particles but the point is what uh, i have started discussing here if you follow i have told that these words 
they combine themselves with verb so here of has been combined with the verb take and again here also of is combined with the verb put and they produce meanings as adverbial particles so many of these particles we don't call call them propositions don't call them proposition if you call them propositions obviously you are going to make mistakes in many occasions these adverbial particles are used as propositions yes dear friends it's a it's a very vital information so you may write it down as a note so many of the adverbial particles just remember it write it down and then i'll tell you why i have asked you to write it down many of these adverbial particles are used as propositions so they are adverbs they have the force of adverbs and not the force of proposition if you say let me have another example i ran down the hill here in this sentence down i ran down the hill it's not ran down it's not getting combined with the verb this is the point you have to follow it's not getting combined with the verb that's why here it is proposition this is the most important point it's not getting combined with the verb rather it's introducing the noun so it's a proposition here and it's not adverb it's not adverbial particles but if you check the list that we have produced here we have down as adverbial particles that's why i have said sometimes adverbial particles can be used as proposition but if i have another sentence here as an example uh, let me have the example first the car ran down a pedestrian the car ran down a pedestrian so here down it gets combined with the verb it's a combination and that's why it's an adverb if i say the battery has run down it's again a combination with the verb so this is also an adverb and adverbial particles so this is how the structure the structure is very very vital our consideration would be whether it's get combined with the verb and presenting itself either regularly or regu irregularly as a, a unit so there it would be adverbial particles but when we get it as an introducer of some noun as it's there in this sentence obviously it's a proposition and the most important part adverbial particles they can be used as propositions don't consider that those propositions which are used as adverbs are called adverbial particles it's a it's a very wrong thing to consider that's why i have asked you to note it down and to remember it 
there is some adverbial particles which can be used as propositions so their common use is both proposition and adverbs but when we learn them as adverb particles it's better not to mark them up with propositions and here we'll uh, talk about adverb particles uh, and uh, their other forms which are also also very very important because uh, now it's time for us to discuss about the structures of adverbial particles yes dear friends it's time for us to discuss the structure but before we start the structure it's better for us to end this session as the part one of our discussion of adverbial particles. We would start the discussion of our part two in the next session and for now wait for the part two to come and to find out all the different structures that get associated with adverbial particles. So we are returning very soon till now. Bye-bye. Happy learning.